What's up, Kim Foods? This is Kim J. And Telfu. Yeah. yeah. Critical Basketball episode number 19. On to a new challenge. Unfortunately, we did get defeated on the last episode by the one and only. The only one who can beat me, Aomine. Aomine is himself. Like I said, I'm not really too disappointed how it turned out. I'm glad that they stuck him his character as the way he is. And gave us that crushing blow to hopefully build us back to be even stronger. Yeah, we need to get crushed. All right, guys. We're going to Kuroko's Basket episode number 19. Thank you guys for joining Kimchi and Tofu. Hope you guys had a great 4th of July. Let's go and start the show. Oh. Obliterated. Crushed. Poor guy. Wow, not a single word. What, didn't they? You would have thought how many would say at least something. Dang. Yeah, imagine the other teams if they went against them. Mm -hmm. Worse. Yeah, the ace is off the charts, man. <laughs> Not even these guys, I don't think they could defend him that well. You should be worried about Kuroko instead of me. <laughs> oh, they still have two games left. Ah, I thought they were done. Me too. Nah, I want to see what Aomine thinks, man. He, he probably thought they were strong. Oh, look at him talking crap about Kuroko. He's a, come on, Aomine, say something. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> you talk a lot for so a player didn't do crap. <laughs> Damn, I don't mean he's so strong, picking it up with one hand. Ugh, so he must here. still consider Kuroko as a friend. I think he respects Kuroko more uh. than uh, his own teammates. Come on, don't be sad, guys. It's Come okay. I don't mean he's just a monster. <laughs> okay, that's it. What? This might be our no, limit? No, no, Kagami. No way, I would not think Kagami would be like this. Me either. I thought he would have had like some fire pep talk. <sighs> oh, I thought he would be more fired up. So is... oh. He's seeing like a flashback in Kagami, like a side of same with Almine. doesn't believe in his own doesn't trust in Kuroko. Come on, this team's gotta be doo-doo. Let's crush him. Oh, no, no. Kuroko's off. Look at him. Oh, yeah, yeah he's he not is doing his best. Right now. Gosh, now this whole team is just broken. Yeah, but not by much. Is this guy just learning how to play basketball? Would you like to play some one-on-one? Oh yeah, he's very small. He's small. Oh, dunk mm. in your face. Ugh. Dude, Satan lost! Oh my gosh, they lost by a bigger chunk this time too. So the inner high, they wasn't able to make it. Holy cow, no. I thought they were going to. Who's she bringing in? I didn't make it in this time. Who's this guy? Who is he? It's not over yet. <laughs> ah. What? Is this a new player for Kurokos? I mean, for Maybe. Sadie? Maybe. That's what it sounds like. Dude, he's down for two, two weeks. weeks. Complete rest. Holy cow, dude, the damage that Aomine did to this team. He's gonna train harder. Yeah, he's gonna. He actually wants to become stronger. <laughs> She's no. gonna go for three times. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> oh gosh, man. These guys are gonna die. Wow, where's. Oh, no, oh he's... no, he's still here. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't experience that in a while. <laughs> They're gonna stop Kuroko? <laughs> they can't still. No. <laughs> Seems like he's doing a little bit better now. Yeah, so their morale is still the same. They're still the same. They're yes. not completely broken. No. Oh. Oh, wait, hold on. What? Yeah, they're not into it. They're just like swinging it. So they are kind of bro still broken. Yeah. Yeah, they're not. Not really into it. <laughs> oh! They're gonna make oh, it. Shoot. <laughs> 
She's not joking. <laughs> oh, winter's gonna be cold. Oh my god. Ah, so there's a winter championship. So, ah, the year's biggest and last title. So they have a second chance. Okay, last chance of the year. This has got to pump them ba right back up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the only thing he's thinking about is being naked uh -huh. in front of everyone. <laughs> Tepe? Tepe. Is Tepe number that guy with the has the number yeah. seven jersey? Ace! Oh! He's the ace for Satan! Hi! Holy cow, so he's the ace for Satan? Hey! So wait, so this guy's in the same class as him, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Even the dog's sad. <laughs> <laughs> he's worried about Kuroko. How the hell does a dog understand Japanese? Japanese, it's feelings. Yeah, they, they broke both of them. But Kuroko's in there practicing. Maybe he's wanting to grow? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, he is. He's thinking. He's thinking. He has to grow. He has to improve. But what? Wheels he's... are turning. Wait, Kuroko's gonna go for scoring now? Why is he practicing shooting? <laughs> what do you mean start somewhere? This guy's... Wait, why is he practicing shooting? Or is Who's that free throw line? This is Tepe. Yeah. So he's just seeing Kuroko has the potential, but he's just inexperienced. He needs more. Oh, he's the one that encouraged Team Captain to play. Kiyoshi Tepe, the man who created the Satan basketball. Oh, oh, the team. He brought he's the team the one together. That started it. <laughs> what the this heck? <laughs> this guy's. That's a fun character in him. Mm hmm. What the heck? <laughs> do you want something? <laughs> cool, cool. That's what awkward. do you want, man? <laughs> ah, so he sees a specialist in, in uh, Kuroko. Kuroko. Of course, he That's is who a specialist. He is. Yeah. What is his specialist? Wait, this guy can't even do a layup. Oh, so he wants Kuroko to score. He doesn't want him to only just look at passing. Damn, this guy just lost himself. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot, he stepped on the... Oh, God, I thought oh, he stepped on the freaking dog. Me too. <laughs> I was I like, oh, well, oh, my God. Okay, he stepped on his candy. Ooh. <laughs> Dude, what the freak? Oh man! Hey, Kagami's oh, he back. <laughs> oh, so it has been a week. <laughs> He's not used to Kagami apologizing. Oh, Tepe's here. Yep. What is this guy's specialty, Bill? Why is she like he that? Even do a layup. <laughs> oh my God, this guy is funny. Oh, because he has surgery, and that's why he took a break. I think we learned, heard about him, like, in the first or couple episodes. He's a center. Ah, th yes, this is what they yeah. need. Card games. <laughs> card games. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this guy's funny. I think I really like this guy. Undefeated? Where is it? Where? This, he's, so, he's so random. <laughs> this guy has no idea oh, what the hell's going on! Is he okay? <laughs> he can't make a layup. He doesn't know what the hell's going on. Did he lose his mind? Wow, let's not enjoy... Let's not forget to enjoy the scenery, so enjoy the process. Yes, of learning. Of getting to the top. Yeah, this guy's wise. He might be... He might just act like this. Yeah, he's becoming so low again. That's where Tepe's gonna come in and freaking slap some sense into him. One on one for the starting position! Oh! oh! 
He doesn't like him. He's always up to something. Mm, mm. So he's... Wow, dude, I like this new character Me so too. much. Who is this guy? So mysterious. Yet yeah. You can, you can see a little bit hint of security with him. Yes, you feel like it's going to be secure. He's wise. He's going to teach him something, even though he... D you know what I was thinking? Because after they were going against Almine and the Fabulous Five, Satan, what are we going to do? I mean, to defeat Almine, to defeat all these... Miracle 5 that we're going to go against. I mean, does our scorers have to be better? I want you guys to know, I'm a very big, huge Dennis Rodman fan. He is. Okay, I'm a huge Dennis Rodman fan. The reason why I love Dennis Rodman, and I love the fact that this episode actually covered specialists. He can have the whole season scored zero points, and he still will be considered as one of the MVP. This guy rebounds and defends like his whole life depends on it and that's what i love about him after watching kuroko and then when you watch someone like dennis rodman you're just like this guy is definitely the miracle five of defending yes he would be one of the specialists or he's be, a specialist yeah he would be one of them i think what we're going to be seeing in evolution is that kuroko is going to actually be scoring we see that foreshadowing in this episode after the game is lost after they're done with practice him shooting hoops by himself yeah, trying to practice like, why, why that's a foreshadow right there yeah i feel yeah because i was like why the hell is this guy trying to practice making a ball and this guy's so connected into mm. just being a passer and i do understand it because tepe does bring it up like it's free this basketball is free but he's saying that you shouldn't be too extreme i think that's what he's implying to kuroko saying that hey it's okay but it's okay to score too yeah if it's there do it I think that's what we're going to be seeing. I, th I think we're going to be seeing Kuroko score. Not much, not so a lot. Too. We're not going to be seeing him making all this like, you know, scores. But I think we're going to be seeing him score. I'm curious how this guy is, if he is even going to beat Kagami because we saw him try to shoot a hoop and he missed when he was talking He's to Kuroko. He's a very interesting character, Tepe. I have no idea. He, this guy can't even lay up correctly. He's been in the hospital. He's been in the hospital, but what can he bring against Kagami? But like you said, he is wise. You He's know, wise. like you guys want to get to the what was it? We're gonna go up to the mountain. Yeah. We're gonna go to the top. Enjoy the process. Enjoy the process. Enjoy, Enjoy the, the view. view yeah. While you're at it. Exactly. I think what Tepe is gonna bring is I think he's gonna bring the um, fundamentals back to basketball with his team. Oh. You know. Yes. Yeah, I think what he, what he's gonna do, he's gonna open their eyes into like this different dimension of basketball, saying that. You guys think it's only got to play one way, but I'm going to show you everything. Very, very curious to see what asset he brings to the team. I'm looking forward to seeing the growth of this team because I can already feel it. Okay, wheels are turning, things are going in motion, they're down, but they want to. They still have the heart for basketball, so they're not completely crushed that we will see improvements. And I'm excited to see what it's going to be. I think they're more scared to be naked. Of course, yeah, that too. Of More course. than basketball. In the ice cold winter. Yeah, come on, man. The winter it shrinks your. Cold. Winter is coming, men. We don't. We don't need. Yeah. We don't need a science lesson, a physical lesson. <laughs> I'll show you first in the in the warmth. I don't. <laughs> All right, TMI. guys. That's Coco's basketball episode number nineteen. Thank you guys for joining Kimchi and Tofu as always, and we'll see you next time. Yes, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.